So as we finish up our video series, we're going to cover the common injections for the foot and ankle that you may see in your practice. The first one that we're going to start with is the tibio or proper ankle joint injection. This can be done under landmark by both an anterior medial and an anterior lateral approach, but we're going to be showing the anterior medials. I think this one's a little bit more accessible. Um, again, for demonstrations, we're using a blunted 21 gauge needle, but certainly you'll go through your typical setup and standard precautions to make sure that you're, you're uh, appropriately addressing the, the patient's concerns. Um, and so our landmark for this, and in our position, we have the patient kind of in an externally rotated hip position with the foot in as much plantar flexion as we can get out of it. That opens up the space between the tibia and the talus. We can now see our landmarks pretty easily for the injection. We have the anterior tibialis tendon running anteriorly, and so we're going to stay medial to that. We're going to be just distal to the tip of the medial malleolus, and then within that divot on the side of the ankle, you can feel the edge of the Taylor dome, and so we're going to come in just superior for that. You'd clean in your usual fashion, and then the placement for the needle is at about a 45 degree angle to the skin, angling both proximally as well as posteriorly. You can then advance the needle about a centimeter, aspirate to ensure that you're not intravascular, and then inject whatever injectate you may be using. The needle can then be removed, the skin cleaned and bandaged, and that's our tibio Taylor injection. For our next injection, we're going to be covering the injection technique for plantar fasciitis or plantar fasciosis. And again, in this position, we have the patient externally rotated. You could do this with them side lying on the affected side to open up the medial aspect of the foot. We have to first define our landmarks for our injection. The way we do that is walk across the base of the calcaneus until we get to a divot. And that's going to tell us how far from a posterior to anterior direction we're going to be setting up for our injection. The way that we define kind of how deep we are is by looking at the natural color change of the foot. So every person has kind of this own distinct color line. That's going to be our craniocaudal dimension that we're following to set up our injection. You can then mark that with your pen. You'll clean as per how you usually do it. And then the injection is at 90 degrees to the skin, straight down, advancing about a third to two thirds the length of the needle aspirating to ensure that you're not intravascular, and then injecting whatever injectate you may be using. We prefer this technique as opposed to going through the plantar skin, um, as this keeps us deep to the plantar fascia, and so you get less spread of your injectate into the calcaneal fat pad, which if you're using steroid could cause fat necrosis or fat atrophy. For our final injection, we're going to be covering the intermetatarsal injection. This can be useful for both intermetatarsal bursitis as well as Morton's neuroma. Our setup for this position is to get the patient in a plantar flex position. You have to first find your landmarks, and so in this instance, we're going to aim for the third web space or between the third and fourth digit. You can palpate the dorsal side of the metatarsal heads, mark your area, and then clean in your typical fashion. The needle approach is at about a 45 degree angle. You're aiming both somewhat plantar and posterior, and then as you go through the skin, you advance maybe a centimeter, aspirate to ensure you're not intravascular, and then inject whatever injectate you may be using. The needle can then be removed, the skin cleaned and bandaged, and that's your intermetatarsal injection. This completes our AFP video series on the examination of the foot and ankle. Thanks for joining us. Stay tuned for our next video series.